Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name's Sarah and this is Like So Amazing. So today's video is all about the Smiley or Sewing Makes You Love Yourself challenge. So this challenge was the brainchild of three lovely sewers. So it's Athena Cacao. Sorry, I've got everyone's names written down so I don't forget them. So it's Athena Cacao, Lisa Kitch and Hattie van der Kron. I think I got the names right. What I'll do is I'll link to the original blog posts and Athena's original vlog which explains what the challenge is all about. It's running throughout January and February and it is all about how sewing can be used to boost your mental health and your body positivity and what they've asked people to do is to share their stories about why they sew, why it's important to them and the lovely ladies asked me to be an ambassador for the challenge which I was really thrilled to be asked and what they asked is that I shared my sewing story with you. You'll have to bear with me though, I'm still getting over my cold, very croaky throat still and trying not to cough and um, this is potentially quite an emotional video. So they asked me to share my story about why I sew, why it's important to me, how it boosts my mental health and my body positivity. So I'll start from a ways back. So I was taught to sew initially by my mum and her own story in sewing was that as a teenage girl as a sort of young 20 something she was very small of build and couldn't find any clothes in the high street to fit her so she, her choice was to shop in children's shops or she just had like really unfashionable clothes so she decided to start making her own things and I remember seeing garments of hers from the 70s sort of little a-line skirts and this that and the other and all really bright colours and things like that so she'd been able to make really modern fashionable things that were in her size so she could stay in fashion. So she taught me to sew initially and then I studied GCSE textiles. So that was up until the age of 16 and I really, really enjoyed it but just decided to study other things as I got older. And then I took up sewing again when I joined a band and I needed some stage wear. So I wanted more kind of 1950s style dresses and I couldn't find anything on the high street so it was a matter of making my own which really enjoyed that and made a few different things and some cushions and things. And then it was only really in the last five or so years that I really took up sewing with a purpose. So my story is really that my partner and I tried for a family for a long time, for many years. We suffered with infertility and we suffered with recurrent miscarriages and we're getting to the point where we were both pretty broken and personally I felt that I needed to channel my energies into something. I needed something else to focus on because I just felt that I wasn't living. Everything was focusing around babies and I just needed something as a way to almost distract myself. So that's when I started my sewing Instagram. And I started a sewing blog and really started to kind of build my handmade wardrobe and it was great to have something else to kind of channel my energies into. The room I'm in now is actually what would have been our nursery had we been lucky enough to have children. Um, but I took the decision to turn it into my sewing space. So I have a room dedicated to sewing and this is it. Um, and even though that sometimes when I think about it, it does make me quite sad, it was important to me to make something positive out of a very negative situation. Um, so it almost didn't become a shrine to what could be. It was, okay, I'm gonna use this space and, and I'm gonna use it really positively. And what I would also say that sewing's done for me is not only give me the focus and creative outlet that I needed, but also introduced me to an amazing network of supportive women I've never known anything like this community. It's incredible. Um, and, you know, thank you to all of you who I may only know through the internet, I may never have met you, but you've all been so supportive of me and my sewing journey. I don't think there's ever a bad word said and it's, you know, it's just really a lovely place to be. So that's really the mental health aspect of why I sew. It has healed me to some extent and that's been amazing. 
you know, I, de I definitely feel like I am more myself now. After years of a lot of sadness and anger and jealousy and horrible feelings that I didn't want to be feeling, I definitely am much more back to my positive self now which is a great thing and sewing has definitely been a massive massive part of that so aside from the mental health aspect I think body positivity wise sewing still a lot for me I know some people wouldn't think that this is an issue but because I am very small built and petite I have always struggled with finding clothes to fit me I remember a friend of mine at school and I we were both very small and um, two girls that were in our class that were on the bigger side would, I remember them saying, well, what are you complaining about? What are you complaining about? You're small. We have the same issue as you. We can't find clothes to fit us. And they couldn't understand that. But anyway, what sewing's done for me is it's enabled me to create a custom made, handmade wardrobe that absolutely fits me perfectly. So I can sew clothes to my specification, make them exactly how I want them to look. Creativity wise, I can, you know, I can let my inner fashion designer come out. I can decide what color I want, what fabric I want, how I'm gonna make alterations and changes to really make things my own. It really makes me laugh actually when people say, um, oh, I love what you've made. I want to make one exactly the same because for me the joy of sewing is to be able to make it exactly how you want it and to make one of a kind garments that no one else in the world will have. So it does make me laugh when people want to kind of create, recreate things. So what the lovely ladies from the Smiley Challenge have asked is that people create a garment that makes them feel good. So what I've created is my Nina Lee Southbank dress and this is my first make of the year. Um, I've made it from this beautiful, beautiful jersey from Stoff and Steel that I got at the Knitting and Stitching show last year and it's got the most amazing fleece furry lining on the inside so it's really warm and snuggly and it's leopard print which is a neutral as we all know thanks to Catelyn Moran. Um, but yeah it's got lovely leopard print on it, drop shoulders. I'm going to put some pictures in as well so you can see it in all its glory because obviously I can't show you the full thing on the screen. It's got the pockets and I just tied it to the pockets with the fur to my hands so I actually get the benefit of the fur and I've just teamed it today with my it has pockets pin I can get it to focus on that. And this is from the lovely Joy from Pink Coat Club and I bought it through Sew My Sunshine. So that's a nice little addition to the outfit. Um, but what I love about this dress is it's really cool actually. One, it's got pockets. Two, it's snuggly. Three, secret pyjamas. And four, it's just cool. It's just kind of effortless cool. I was really intending to make something like a circle skirt, um, something nipped in waist which is my usual silhouette. When I made this pattern up I just thought you know what I'm gonna stick with this one for the challenge. It feels great on the skin and you know it looks good so why not go for this one. So basically what sewing's done for me, massive massive shout out for sewing. It's brought me focus, it's brought me calm, it's brought me joy from a really awful, sad, negative situation, good has come. It's connected me to an amazing network of supportive women who, and I'm sorry for the men who sew as well, but it's a real community of supportive women who are just kick ass and just love them to bits. And it's a really unique community that I'm really thankful to be involved in. It's increased my skills, it's increased my ability to create so my creative outlet is there and sewing which is brilliant and it's allowed me to create a truly unique handmade wardrobe that's custom made for me so yay sewing basically is what i'm saying thank you for sticking with this video um it was a tough one to film um and i'm aware that possibly other people who watch this have been through similar 
um, and all I can say is my heart goes out to you and if you do need to talk get in touch with me and we can talk because I'm aware it's a very lonely situation that people don't talk about that much anyway thank you very much for watching and thank you to the lovely ladies for organizing this challenge I hope everyone else is thinking of taking part let me know below if you are and I will see you all soon thanks very much bye bye Thank you.